Hi, pre-K friends. How are you? Can you believe this is our last week of pre-K? I know you are almost kindergarten stars. Put your hands up. Let's give ourselves a cheer. Say yay. Good work, friends. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to read a story. And it's called, This School Year Was Different. And because, you know, Miss Diamond was thinking, and I was talking to the other pre-K teachers, and this year was a lot different than it's ever been. And I wanted to read you a story to kind of help you understand what was going on. And then afterwards, we're going to brainstorm. That means we're going to think of some ways that we loved pre-K and why we loved pre-K back when we were going to school. So listen up as we read this story. This school year was different. It's written by Allison Ryan. She's the author, so she wrote the words. This school year has been different from other school years. It started out just like any other school year. You met your teacher, you came to class, you played with your friends, you learned. Tap your nose if you remember playing with your friends at school. Tap your nose if you remember seeing your teacher in the morning and giving them a high five or a hug. But then, all of a sudden, things changed. Schools around the world started to close. They closed to help keep people healthy. So we know that we weren't in school the past few weeks because we were trying to keep the rest of the people in the world healthy so we couldn't get sick. And then you weren't going to school anymore. You were staying at home or spending time somewhere else. It was a big, big change. Maybe you felt sad about not going to school. Maybe you felt angry or confused. Maybe you even felt a little bit happy. However you felt and however you feel now, it's okay to feel that way. Boys and girls, I know that I am still sad that we're not in school. And I was a little confused and I was angry at times. Tap your nose if you felt angry or sad or confused since school's been out. Yeah, I'm sure you have been and that is okay. We know it's so important to feel our feelings and then talk about them, right? School wasn't open, but you kept learning at home. Maybe you got to watch videos or do special learning activities. Maybe you got to have a lot of playtime. You weren't at school, but you were still learning. So every week when you've come to watch these videos that Mrs. Butterfield, Mrs. Morris, Miss Welling, and Mrs. Budkey post, and Miss Diamond, you've been learning the whole time, and that's made us so, so happy. Maybe you got to see some of the other kids in your class, or maybe you didn't see them at all. You weren't at school and you couldn't play together, but you were still a class. Maybe you got to see your teacher in videos. We did, right? Or maybe you didn't get to see your teacher at all. You weren't at school and you couldn't give your teacher a hug or a high five, but they were still your teacher. Listen up, friends, this is important. Your teacher thinks about you every single day. Since we haven't been in school, friends, your teachers and, and Mrs. Abby and Ms. Pantazelos and Ms. B and Mrs. Bartlett and Mrs. Johnson, we have all been thinking about you and we have missed and loved you so. So no matter where you are, your school is still your school, your class, is still your class. Your friends are still your friends and your teacher is still your teacher. This school year has been very different, but you have done a fantastic job and you should be very proud of that. The end. So friends, I want you to kiss your smart brains because you have been rocking this online learning and this pre-K learning we've been doing online has been tricky but you have been giving it your best.